sa Pinoy Pride 39 mula sa Cebu City Coliseum among ating susunod na bakbakan Jason El Nino Pagara kalaban ng taga Nicaragua si Jose Alfaro 10 rounds sa uh, welterweight division well, This should be a good one sapagat yung uh, Alfaro is a former world lightweight champion ano? So meron talagang uh, mabigat na resume itong Alfaro and 24 knockouts ano? in 28 victories. And you can see the tail of the tape. Itong uh, dalawang boksingero. 28 si uh, Jason, 32 naman si uh, Alfaro na WBA lightweight champion on 2007 up to 2008. And, but he hasn't really been that active. I know he was... Uh, Hindi siya lumaban noong 2013 and fought only two times. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Mecca of Sports and Entertainment here in the South, the historic Cebu Coliseum. Tonight, out of promotions and ABS-CBN Sports, they are proud to present Road to Redemption, Pinoy Pride 39. And now we go to our co-featured bout of the evening. This is 10 rounds of boxing in the super lightweight division. And this is sanctioned by the Games and Amusements Board. The Chairman Abraham Mitra, Commissioners Fritz Gaston and Edward Trinidad, Region 7 OIC South Somaranda. Supervisors Rolando Mendoza, Glenn Ahena, Leonardo Trinidad, and Ralph Jokno. Ladies and gentlemen, fight fans, the time for talk is over. The time to fight is here. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the time to brawl! Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing white with blue. Official weight 146 and one half pounds with a record of 28 wins 10 losses one draw with 24 wins coming by way of Knockout he is the former WBA federal lightweight champion ladies and gentlemen the fighter from Managua Nicaragua ladies and gentlemen introducing Jose Kibra Hikaru Alvaro And across the ring is his opponent in the red corner, wearing red with gray. Official weight, 146 and one half pounds. With a record of 39 wins, two defeats, with 24 wins coming by way of knockout. The former WBO Asia Pacific Youth Lightweight Champion, the former WBO Asia Pacific Youth Junior Wallerweight Champion, the former WBO International Super Lightweight Champion, and he is ranked number one by the WBO in the Junior Wallerweight Division. Ladies and gentlemen, the fighting pride of Cagayan de Oro City in the Philippines. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Jason El Nino Bayala. And the judges at ringside, international boxing judge Edward Ligas, international boxing judge Edgar Lalo and Edwin Valientos, and the man in charge of the action. He will be giving instruction right after the introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, veteran referee Teddy Alivio. <laughs> okay, gentlemen, you have to box 10 rounds, huh? Obey my command at all times. Protect yourself at all times. I want you to fight clean. Fight, okay? Duck, let's go. Medyo matindi ang mga naging mga kalaban ni uh, Alfaro. <laughs> He's fought Umberto Soto, 2011, although talo siya. And then nakalaban na niya si Eric Morales in 2010, talo rin siya. And then also lost to Antonio De Marco. 
a 10th round KO. Pero lahat yon, those are all big fights. So he has championship experience. Oh, he was the WBA shot. light flyweight champion. Lightweight champion. So, medyo, Jason's got his hands full against a 33-year-old Nicaraguan. If there is still enough power in those hands of Alfaro, aba, anything can still happen. Of course, see, I know, see, Jason also has a lot of power in his shots. He's uh, also known to be a pressure fighter, but ganon din si Montoya, ay Montoya, Alfaro. Montoya was uh, the only fighter, the last fighter to defeat Jason Pagara, Rosbel Montoya back in 2011. Pero sabi niya, medyo ho, out of shape talaga sa doon. He has since been on a uh, winning tear. And hopefully, madagdag itong si uh, Alfaro. Yeah. So, we were talking about itong weight class na to, no, itong welterweight na talagang oh number boy. one, Terence Crawford, <laughs> di ba, yeah. napakabigat, si Ruslan Provodnikov, uh, di ba, so if ever he would go for a world, if he gets a world title shot, because he is rated number one, should he win here and continue to have that rating, mabigat. Mabigat, well, and champion, this is a 140-pound division, wherein uh, Pagara is ranked number one, is Terence Crawford. But there are reports that uh, Crawford might move, might move up, up. Uh -oh. in weight after his upcoming uh, title defense this coming December. Uh, so far, medyo ho, tumatama na maganda itong si Pagara. Yes, mabibigat na suntok ang... Oh, nice oh, right shot. there! Uh, well, masyadong stationary itong si Alfaro, eh, no? Oh, oh. He's just standing in front of Pagara. Tama, at medyo... He's not moving his head well. Wow. Solid left hook there mula kay Jason Pagara. Heavy punching. One thing to do better than his brother. Oh, there. Nice left hook to the body. Well, this is the typical Alfaro. Hindi siya masyado makamay. He looks to counter, pick your shots, and then counter. Pero ngayon, halos wala pa silent oh, pa siya dito pa. sa unang dalawang minuto ng fight. Just trying to test the power of Pagara kung ano ba nalang batang ito. 33 years old si Alfaro, 28 si Jason. He started boxing at the age of 8, just like his brother. Tinuruan sila ng kanilang tatay. Oo, oh, si uh, Reynaldo. Reynaldo Pagara. Oh, Pagara. And Jason had 60 amateur fights before turning pro. So, kanina, panalo. Oh, right to the body. Oh, 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 down oh. goes the former world oh, lightweight oh. champion. Maagang knockdown dito sa round one. Sente. Oh, Lako. Kwe naman, oh. Boy, first round. First round didn't come in shape. Oh, oh. Well, we didn't say that he had seen better days, you know, but people were still expecting that there was still one punch left in the former world champion. Wow, and so in less than three minutes. Time for the Cobra Pule de la Cas. Punch of the round. All oh, right to the body. Oh, right now, going to play the waiting game. They're going to see what Terence Crawford oh. will do if Crawford moves up. They're going to see what Terence number two. Oh, oh, so, number two? Well, Baka mama eh, sinaruslan Probotikov yun, pabigyan din. Pero, compared kay Crawford, eh magaling yung Crawford talaga. Okay, we go up to the ring announcer now. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at 2 minutes and 59 seconds in the very first round. Referee Teddy Olivia reaches the count of 10, the winner by knockout victory, ladies and gentlemen. The fighting pride of Cagayan de Oro City, the Philippines, Jason El Nino Pagara! Medyo hindi pa nga naka-warm up si Jason, eh, di ba? Kita pa natin, parang gusto pa niyang dagdagan pa ng suntok. Panalo na siya, first round, KO for El Nino Pagara.
he hasn't really been that active. I know he was uh, hindi siya lumaban noong 2013 and fought only two times. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Mecca of Sports and Entertainment here in the South, the historic Cebu Coliseum. Tonight, out of promotions and ABS-CBN Sports. This should be a good one, sapagat yung uh, Alfaro is a former world lightweight champion. Ano? So, meron talagang uh, mabigat na resume itong Alfaro. And 24 knockouts, ano? In 20. Sa Pinoy Pride 39, mula sa Cebu City Coliseum, ang ating susunod na bakbakan, Jason El Nino Pagara. Kalaban ng taga Nicaragua, si Jose Alfaro. 10 rounds sa uh, welterweight division. Great victories. And you can see the tail of the tape. Itong uh, dalawang boksingero. 28 si uh, Jason, 32 naman si uh, Alfaro, no, WBA lightweight champion on 2007 up to 2008. And, but 